yoga, at least most forms of yoga, really emphasize the breath. And the breath has a lot of different physical benefits, but it's also a vehicle for rejuvenation. And you can imagine that every inhale, you're taking in new energy, right? Every exhale is an opportunity to let something go. And this is true on a very physical level, right? The more we can really allow the breath into the body, the more we can recirculate everything and allow that cleansing rejuvenation process to really do the work that it, it does naturally. But when you're breathing deeper and fuller breaths, it's more efficient. But also energetically, you can think of each breath as being an opportunity for transformation. Because um, I've been really kind of contemplating the idea of, of growth, of change. And, you know, as they say, the only real constant in our life is change. Everything shifts and moves and evolves. People come in and out of our lives. Um, our emotions change, our belief systems evolve, um, everything changes. So that's the most constant. But instead of that being something that can kind of cause a state of apprehension, uh, I can grow now, I can learn something different, I can evolve in a different way with each breath, with each moment, I can bring something new into me and I can let something go that is no longer serving me. So we can kind of play with this little metaphor as we keep connecting to our breath throughout our class today. Okay, so let's start with our um, mindfulness meditation. Find the posture within your body, so feet flat to the floor, uplifted spine, and find a position uh, for your hands to rest that's comfortable. Palms down, palms up, maybe stack the palms in your lap. And then close your eyes. And just take a few moments to settle into the awareness of your body, accepting whatever sensations you're experiencing right now. Try not to judge any anything that you're experiencing. Just observe it and allow it to be what it is. Okay, and we're gonna start first by drawing our awareness to the breath. So you're not changing the breath, you're not trying to take it deeper or controlling it. You're just observing your natural breathing, but we're gonna try to keep it in and out of the nose. So with your mouth closed, unless you're congested, as it moves in and out of the body, in and out of the nose. And try to keep your focus right there. Try to feel that sensation of the breath as it moves into the nostrils. Maybe become aware of it as it passes over the palate of your mouth and down into your throat and lungs. And then see if you can connect to the sensation of the breath as it moves up and out of the body. So try to keep your awareness right there. And notice when your mind has a tendency to wander. Try to bring it back to just the focus of the breath. And the body might want to fidget, the, might, the mind might be challenging to keep focused, but do your best. Keep the body steady, keep the mind focused on the breath. Now the 
that the mind is more calm and focused. Bring your awareness a little bit more towards your body, feeling the sensation of your feet on the floor and try to feel your feet relax. And then take your awareness from the bottoms of your feet all the way up through the legs and notice the sensation of the legs. Keep your awareness there and see if you can relax. Take your awareness into your hips, into your belly and allow that to soften a bit. Even let your belly hang out a little bit more. Feel your hips full and relaxed. Now try to picture your spine in your mind's eye and imagine yourself moving slowly up the vertebrae in the spine, just feeling a sensation of being aware, of being present with your body, with your back, with the transitioning from the lower to the middle to the upper part of your spine. And maybe even feel yourself get a little taller. And then relax your shoulders even more. And as you let go of your shoulders, feel that relaxation move down your arms to your palms and fingertips. And then take your awareness to your heart center, to the middle of your chest. And as you connect to that space, maybe gradually start to take deeper breaths. Maintaining that still steadiness in the mind, in the breath, in the body. Again, try not to fidget, try not to let the mind wander. Just keep allowing yourself to give yourself permission to relax, to be fully present with yourself. Most of the day, we're distracted or caught up in other things, but give yourself the gift of complete mindful presence with yourself in this moment. See if you can relax your jaw a bit. Let go of your cheeks and your forehead. Okay, and then back into the awareness of the breath. We're gonna to start to take deeper, slower breaths. Inhale deeply through the nose. Out of the nose, exhale. Inhale through your nose. Out of your nose, exhale. Now start to focus on letting the breath move all the way down into the belly. Inhale, feel your belly expand. Exhale, feel your belly contract inward as the breath moves up and out. Inhale, feel the belly expand. Exhale, up and out. This is going to remain on that deep breathing. Keep it going. And if you want to take slower, deeper breaths, and if you are truly allowing yourself to stay calm, to stay present, and to keep that deep breathing going, you will feel the body relaxing more and more with each breath as we connect to the natural relaxation response in the body. So your main goal is to keep inviting in slower, deeper breaths without straining, without forcing. You're doing this by relaxing the inner body, which will allow more breath. Beautiful.
And as you continue to do that, observe. Observe the mind's tendency to wander. Like bring it back. Maybe the body wants to move. Maybe it feels a little agitated. Do your best to try to keep it calm and steady. I promise it will create a prolonged effect of deeper sense of centering, balance, relaxation, and connectedness. So a few more moments here in stillness as we continue to take slow, deep, steady breaths in and out of the nose, in and out of the body. Take it at your own pace. This is your practice. So what you put into the practice is what you get out of the practice. If you allow the mind to be distracted throughout the entire class, then a sense of feeling scattered and distracted is what you'll leave the class with. But if you keep trying to focus and find that peace and steadiness, that's the essence of what we'll carry with you afterwards. Such a simple practice, but it's challenging and yet it has very profound effects. Slow, deep, steady breaths. Maybe you feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more anchored. Maybe other things are starting to bubble up in this moment. Allow them to flow. You don't have to figure them out, just allow. And then finally, as we continue to focus on the breath, begin to contemplate the opportunity for change with each breath. The inhale invites in new energy. The exhale allows a space of release. Each inhale, you're replenishing yourself and each exhale, you're letting go of what doesn't serve you. So a few more moments here of deep breathing, contemplating the transformational effect of the breath. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your left. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Cleansing release out of the mouth. Let's do one more like that. Inhale through the nose. Release that breath out of your mouth. Release your hands and gently blink open your eyes. Okay. okay, so we can get into some movement now. As we're doing this, keep the mind focused, keep the breath steady, and try to imagine yourself breathing into the movement. So first start, inhale, looking over your right shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look left. Exhale, forward. Again, inhale, right. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left. Exhale, forward. Take the right ear to the right shoulder and pick your head back up. Left ear to the left shoulder and pick it back up. 
right ear to the right shoulder. Now you can stay there like that, or you can take your right hand and gently pull a little bit further down as you reach your left hand in the opposite direction. Try to relax your shoulders as you breathe. Okay, now very slightly tuck your chin in a little bit. So now you're stretching the back left side of your neck. And then release the right hand down, pick your head back up. Take the left ear to the left shoulder. Left hand comes to the opposite side of the head, gently pull it down, keep the shoulders relaxed. Draw your chin in slightly, so you're stretching the back right side of your neck. Release that hand down, gently pick your head all the way back up. Draw your chin into your chest, round into the body a bit. Interlace your fingers behind your head and let that gentle weight of the hands create the release in the back of the neck. So you're letting your elbows go, letting your shoulders and neck go, but try to keep the breath flowing. Try to feel the breath in the space between the shoulder blades. And then release your hands, slowly bring it all the way back up. Start to circle your shoulders back. And then circle your shoulders forward. Good. Take your hands behind you. If you can, grab onto your chair or rest your hands on your chair, whichever feels like more support. And you're gonna reach up with your chest. If it feels comfortable, release the head back. If it feels like a strain on the neck, you can keep your gaze forward. And slowly bring it all the way back up. Okay. Now take your feet about as wide as your hips, if not just a little bit wider. Hands to your knees, and we're gonna move the spine rounding and then arching. So reach your chest forward, pull your shoulders back, and then tuck your chin in and round into the spine. And then do it again. Inhale as you reach with your chest and pull your shoulders back. Exhale as you pull your chin in and round. Really nice. One more time. Inhale, reach it through, shoulders back. And then exhale, pull it in as you round. And then slowly come all the way back up. Good. Reach your left arm up and lean gently over to the right. Good, take it back up. Before we go to the other side, you're gonna take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. If it feels comfortable, you can grab the chair as well. And you're gonna look over your right shoulder as you twist. Try to keep the spine lifted as you open through the chest. Really nice. And then see if you can connect to the breath there. And untwist. And then we'll do the lateral stretch on the other side. So take your right arm up as you lean to the left. Always listening to your body. Make sure you're not straining. And the connection to the breath is the most important thing. Come all the way back up. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee and your left hand behind you and twist. Keep the spine lifted as you look over the left shoulder. Great. 
Great. Untwist back to the front. Okay, <laughs> so the feet are extended out. You can scoot them slightly further away and then flex your toes towards your face and then press them back down. Flex. Press down. Flex. Press down. And press down. Okay, now maybe scoot the feet in a little bit closer. You're gonna lift your heels and lower the heels to the floor. Lift them up and lower down. Lift them up, lower down, lift, and lower. Excellent. Okay, um, come as close to the edge of the chair as you can. See if you can even bring the feet closer together and pull the knees in and open. Bring it in and open. Take it in and open. Bring it in and open. Good. Relax the feet back down. Now extend the feet a little bit further apart. I'm going to give a couple different options. Keep your left leg extended. You can bring your right heel against the ankle, the shin, or the knee. If it can come up onto the knee, then you can bring the bottom of the left foot to the floor so you're stacked like this, right? So if you can't get the knee that high, you can take it lower down the leg. The important thing is this external rotation in the hip, okay? So holding that external rotation, whether it's up here or down here, you're gonna gently press the thigh out. And if you need a little extra leverage, you can hold on to the chair with the opposite hand. Good, and then release that foot down and do the same thing on the other side. Cross the ankle of over the ankle, shin, or knee and then use the opposite hand to press the thigh out. Really good. And then release it back down. Now you can do this with or without the hands. So without the hands, you'll lift, extend, bend and lower. If you can, you keep the hand interlaced under the thigh, keep it lifted, extend and bend, right? So the first option, you're picking it up, you're reaching it out, bending, lowering down. Second option, keeping it interlaced, extend and bend, okay? Let's go for a few rounds. Try to keep the spine uplifted, extend, and bend, or lift, extend, and lower. Take it out, bring it down. It doesn't have to straighten either. Take it out, bring it down, reach it out, take it down, and lower. Other side. Either lift, reach, bend, and lower, or keep it lifted the whole time with the hands interlaced under the thigh. Reach it out, bring it in. Lift, extend, and lower, or reach it out and bring it in. Good. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, extend, bend and lower. Two more, take it out, bring it down. Last one, reach it out, take it down. Good. Okay, 
So now we're going to do um, a warrior two type of variation. So standing warrior two, you're going to extend opening the hips and arms out. Hold it like this. Now on the chair, same thing, but we're seated. This leg is extended to the side. The other leg is reaching back. Arms out to the side. Now, if the shoulders start to feel fatigued here, you can always place the hands on the hips. The main thing is to try to keep the hips rotating outward and open. And then look over towards your extended left arm. Good. Find the breath here. Let's hold. Four. Three. two, and one. Relax your arms down. And let's just go right into the other side. So that right leg extends out to the side with the knee bent. Left leg is straight, arms out. That is the standing variation. Again, hips open, tailbone down. If you're seated on the chair, that right knee is bent and the left leg is extended out. Arms out. And we're all gazing at the right hand and find the breath. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release it down. If you're standing, bring the legs together. If you're seated, bring the legs together. So um, like I said, for the standing version, we'll do a variation of triangle pose. So you start with the feet pointing forward and reach to the left, okay? For the seated option, we're gonna start with the left knee pointing to the side and the right knee pointing forward. Left forearm to the left quad and reach the right arm over. So standing, the legs are straight with the toe pointing to the side and you take the lateral stretch like that. Good. And seated, the knees are bent. Good, hold it wherever you are, standing or seated. Couple more breaths here. Just connect it to feeling the lengthening on the uh, right side of the body. Excellent, take it all the way back up. Now for seated, bring the left leg in, open the right leg out, right forearm to the right quad, left arm over the ear. For standing, the left toes point forward, the right toes point to the side, and you fold laterally to the side. Good, four more breaths. If you're standing, that left arm is extended straight up. Unless you feel strained, then you can take the hand to the hip. Really nice, take it back up, and then bring the knees into touch. And if you're standing, bring the legs together. Okay. Um, seated, wide legs, and I'll give an option for standing in just a moment. From here, hands to your thighs or your knees, and you're going to try to press through your hips as you reach your chest forward. So it's like a seated forward fold. If you are standing, you can use the back of the chair, go wide with your legs, and press down through your chest. So you're holding the chair with your hands, the legs are wide, try to keep the back flat. You can bend the knees. So whichever version you're in, you're holding and breathing. Make sure you feel supported, that you've taken a variation that you feel like you can hold. So maybe that means not coming quite that far down. 
you are going to feel the stretch in the backs of the legs and the lower back. Maybe seated not quite so much in the backs of the legs, but definitely the lower back. Okay, create an engagement in your core to pull yourself back up. Like pull the belly in to support the lift so you're not straining through the back. And that's kind of rule of thumb anytime we do any kind of coming up or lifting or lowering from squatting to standing. It's the core that supports the back. So if you need to take a moment, engage and then lift. Right? And the more you do it like that, it'll become a little bit more automatic. Let's do a little bit more twisting here. So let's, we'll all do this in, as a seated variation. So again, taking the left knee out to the side. This time, the knees open. You're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and look over your right shoulder. Right hand is behind you. Beautiful. Um, twist. Pull the left knee in. Open the right knee out. Take the right hand to the outside of the left knee and the left hand behind you and try to look over the left shoulder as you twist. and untwist um, and bring both legs back together. So this next movement is for the shoulders. You can do it seated or standing. Extend your arms all the way up. Bend your right elbow. Use your left hand to very gently pull that right elbow back. The right hand is kind of resting on your back. See if you can let go of your shoulders and get a little lift in your chest. Good. Gently release the arms back down. If you need to, shake it out a little bit. And then we'll do it on the other side. Reach the arms all the way up. Bend your left elbow. Use your right hand to draw it back. Shoulders are relaxed. Keep the breath flowing. And slowly release it all the way back down and shake it out. Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you, tuck your chin in, round again. And then either keep your hands interlaced or release the hands, but we're going to reach straight up with either the palms or the fingertips. Try to feel a lift through the side of your body. And again, release your hands down. Reach back for the back of the chair or rest your hands on the back of the chair and press up through your chest. If it feels comfortable, release your head back. Try not to strain the neck.
and then take it all the way back up. Beautiful. Okay, so as our um, closing pranayama, we're going to move into our alternate nostril breathing that we did last week. So remember, we close one nostril at a time and breathe through the open nostril. And you can do that with index finger or thumb or the full mudra hand position. You lower your index and middle finger and these remaining three fingers, right? Pinky and index on the left nostril, thumb on the right. But if that doesn't feel comfortable for your hand, index and thumb are fine. Okay. So first we're gonna inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of the nose. Close the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left nostril. Open the right. Exhale. Inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril. Open the left. Exhale. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Ex inhale from the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. One more round, inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Release your right hand down. Inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of your nose. One more full breath like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the nose. Come back to your natural breath. Observe the sensations that you're experiencing in this moment. Notice how your body feels. Notice the nature of your thoughts. Take a moment to witness your emotional state. And then returning to the intention of the beginning of the class, contemplating the ever-changing nature of our lives and allowing ourselves to become a little bit more accepting of the inevitable changing nature and allow those moments of change to be moments for growth, for heightened self-awareness. So even in this moment right now, you're different than you were from the beginning of class. Maybe allow the space of being more connected, more balanced, 
more aware of yourself to be an opportunity to see yourself in a different light. So let's just settle here in this space of self-awareness and stillness just for a few moments. Maybe you want to just follow the natural breath. Maybe you want to control the breath a little bit more. Returning back to the deep breaths in and out of the nose. Listen to what calls to you right now. Keeping this deeper connection to yourself. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of your left. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Cleansing release as you exhale out of your mouth. One more, inhale through the nose. Out of the mouth, exhale. Namaste. Namaste.